the world of elemental bending, martial arts battles, surprisingly competent teens, romances that made Nickelodeon go, wait a minute, this is how gay? And of course, Cabbages is coming to your tabletop. Avatar Legends runs on an RPG framework called Powered by the Apocalypse. If you've listened to podcasts like The Adventure Zone or Friends at the Table or played games like Masks or Monster of the Week, you've seen the system in action. If not, don't worry, that's why we're here watching this video. In Avatar Legends, you'll be rolling two six-sided dice instead of a 20-sided one anytime your character tries to do something cool. The exact results will depend on what you're trying to do, but in general, on a one to six, you miss, you fail, things get interesting and more complicated as danger amps up. On a seven to nine, you do the thing you set out to do, but often only just barely or at a cost. But on a 10 plus, you succeed dramatically. That's it, that's party time. That's when it's time to do something cool. And that's the game in a nutshell. The devil is in the details, but boy, are there a lot of details. So the question most of you have right now is, how does the game let you do bending? How could any game possibly handle the tremendous flexibility of a magic-like bending? Well, the short answer is, the game just lets you do whatever you can think of. The long answer is, Powered by the Apocalypse is a flexible system, and it's a framework that cares more about what your character is doing narratively than any kind of uh, specific move. And in Avatar Legends, this might be something like relying on your skills or pushing your luck because pretty much any action your character takes falls under the umbrella of one of the moves. Moves in Avatar Legends are a little package of rules that come in two parts. The first part is a trigger that comes from describing what your character is trying to do. This will typically read as something like when you rely on your skills and training to overcome an obstacle, or when you trick an NPC. These are pretty broad statements that describe in very general terms when your character is using a given move. Avatar Legends doesn't want you to say, I rely on my skills and training to get up to the roof and catch the thief. They want you to say how you're relying on your skills and training. Something like, I use my airbending to propel myself up to the top of the roof, or I use a cool grapple gun to like latch on and swing up there. Once you've done that, you can figure out what kind of move you're using. When you make one of these moves, you'll roll and add one of the four basic stats that you have in Avatar Legends. Every stat has its own rating from minus one to plus three, and most of them come in at like minus one to plus one. How do you make a hero? We start by picking a playbook. A playbook is basically your character class. This determines your starting array of stats, any special moves you have access to, and uh, as a bonus, just for making a character, you get to add plus one to any of those stats to customize yourself just a little bit. For instance, the Bold, one of the playbooks in Avatar Legends, has creativity and focus at plus one, harmony at zero, and passion at minus one. This also gives you moves that let you make a plan with a friend, spot a flaw in someone else's plans, tell someone what you really think about them, come back from being knocked out, or have a cool small pet friend like Momo or that evil parrot. Once you have your playbook, once you have your character and all your stats and a handle on making the basic moves, you're ready to play. But what about getting into fights? Avatar, The Last Airbender, and The Legend of Korra are full of all kinds of acrobatic battles that take place in exciting locations, from like the tops of airships to the slides in Omashu. And combat in Avatar Legends has its own little more complicated but separate system. It's still in development, but for now, let's talk about how it works in the Quick Start rules. Every moment in a fight is broken down into its own separate little packets called exchanges. These are sets of attacks, dodges, blocks, maneuvers, things that happen like, like uh, when Zuko is fighting Aang for the very first time. Zuko throws a couple of fireball punches at Aang, Aang dodges in close, maneuvers around him, keeping him from landing a solid blow. That whole series is one exchange. To start an exchange, first decide what you're doing and pick an approach. This kind of is in broad terms, whether you're attacking, defending, or observing your opponents to see what they're going to do. Each of these has their own subset of specific attack moves called techniques. Every playbook has their own special technique that you can use as well. Typically, every technique in a combat inflicts either fatigue or some kind of condition or status effect on the people that you're using it on. In addition to the four basic stats, you also have a fatigue track. This is five boxes that track your emotional and physical well-being. Think of them as like five chances to either get injured or be shaken up without having to worry about anything negative happening to you. Every character also has a list of five conditions, which help set the tone for how your character is feeling right now. Uh, but these also give you a penalty, usually minus two, to certain moves. Uh, the conditions are afraid, angry, foolish, guilty, or insecure. There are different things you can do to clear these conditions and get rid of the penalty once you have them, but if you get all five, it's gonna be hard to keep fighting. 
The last thing we should mention is balance. In Avatar, whatever series you like, characters are often pulled between opposing principles. Aang wants to be a kid, doesn't want to fight or kill, but also is the Avatar and has a duty and responsibility to the people of the Four Nations. Zuko is pulled between his drive for honor and his loyalty to his family and doing what he knows is right. In Avatar Legends, every character has their own worldview that's part philosophy, part feeling, and it represents what kind of actions you take and gives you another set of stats that can modify your role. The bold, for instance, is torn between confidence and loyalty. And if you have a plus one in confidence, you have a minus one in loyalty. You might, in, at some times, be called upon to roll confidence instead of creativity or passion or whatever stat you're bad at. Depending on where you are in your balance, uh, you also have actions you can do. You might call out an NPC demanding they live up to their principle. For instance, an Earth Kingdom renegade who knows that flooding the valley is going to hurt a lot of innocent people, so you could call on them to stop the plan to blow up the dam. But characters might also call on you to live up to your own principles or shift your balance. As you're pushed and pulled, your character moves along the balance track, and, and your, your bonus and your penalty changes depending on where you are on the spectrum. That's Avatar Legends in a nutshell. The game is pretty simple, but the details give it complexity. You can see these details for yourself and try it out right now by clicking the link below. I'm JR from Bulls. More RPGs are right here. Or are they? They are.